Hello YouTube. You probably noticed that the slideshow abruptly stopped. Here's why. Long story short, um, I got this apart. I just saw in the slideshow. I got got all the way down to the works of the shutter. Um, I <coughs> cleaned the blades as I showed you with the alcohol and the Q-tips and got it fine. Got it all clean. Displaced all the, all the crud. Blew it out with compressed air. Uh, put it back together which was relatively easy. There are no, there's no pictures of it but it was pretty straightforward. Uh, not a lot of stuff that has to be uh, realigned on the timing ring. Um, at this point um, I will put some notes in the slideshow when I get to that point. Um, but anyhow, I put it all back together and all of a sudden the uh, it worked, kind of, but all at once the cocking lever stopped cocking, the shutter released, release stopped releasing, nothing was happening. I assumed that uh, I had bent something when I put it back together because there Oh, I'm not going to take it apart now to show you, but down here there was a pin that I did bend. and um, So it's very, very important to be careful when you're reassembling. I did bend something, I had to bend it back. It was fine, but that wasn't the problem. Uh, again, trying to keep a long story short, the bottom line is that uh, after I cleaned everything, <clears throat> I did not re-lube it. I've always been a little sketchy about um, oiling up camera guts because oil if it's misapplied can migrate um, everywhere and get in you know the, the the leaf shutters like this maybe it's not such a big deal uh, cloth shutters are a big deal uh, if you get oil on them but anyhow I, I, I didn't re-oil it and what was happening was the whole thing was binding up so I wound up uh, as you can see taking the, the leatherette off which is to be avoided at all cost if you can I took the whole front of the camera off I cleaned everything again it was it was kinda nasty in there and yucky and I, I cleaned all the the old oil off um, I straightened a couple things out but really the bottom line was it was dry 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 uh, from me cleaning it I added some oil, I reset everything, um, screwed it back together, and now it works actually very, very well. That's 60th to 500th, and the 500th is very quick. It's actually a very nice shutter. Down the 15th. Let's go a little slower here, like. Half, quarter, eighth. So, without turning this into a big long thing, um, I had to take all of this apart. Um, I took the top off um, to clean that. Um, I also didn't, didn't. I was trying to avoid taking the lens of the camera off. Um, yeah, that didn't happen. I wanted to take the whole whole thing apart and putting it back together again uh, several times until I figured out it, was, it just needed some oil. It was so clean and dry it couldn't move. Uh, so there's there's a warning for anyone delving into the world of mechanical cameras. Um, apply lube where you need it or the camera will just lock up tight and that's what this thing did. And uh, it's unfortunate because the, the this had been in pretty decent condition other than being filthy um, and now I've got to, uh, I've got to put uh, new leather on it which is unfortunate but the camera will work so um, I guess that is it for now I don't think there's really anything here to show you um, in the slideshow I showed you that the selenium cell 
still reactive. It's not making the needle move. Uh, I don't know what the, the deal is with that. Uh, I had to unsolder a joint. The ground wire, I'm, I'm calling it a ground wire. I'm guessing it's green. Um, <clears throat> is in mediocre shape. Uh, when I had to take the lens barrel off of the back plate, uh, there's a connection where where this so is soldered to in here. There's um, a, f a friction contact connection. That is that you know when you when you put the two halves of the lens together, there's two tabs that slide together and form a contact that way. Uh, they may not be lined up properly. So this will be uh, a camera to to be used with uh, a meter. Um, I don't. Oh, I can show you. Just give you a basic look. Get a little more light. Give you a little bit better look. At what this thing look like looks like on the inside. This this is everything: the prism and beam splitter for your. Uh, sure, your focusing. Um, split image focusing. That's your counter. Your long armed uh, film winder. In here, in this little box, is where the, the yeah, the meter needle and related parts are. Uh, in the bottom, you can see it's totally basic. Just three, three racks of gears down here. And then all the rest of the stuff. Uh, I gotta put this back in. I gotta screw the lens down. Uh, I gotta put the lens back on the inside. Um, I haven't done that yet. Had I been smarter, I would have done it when I had the lens plate off, but I didn't. Um, so really, that's as far as I wanted to go with this. Um, the 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 whole thing of this was that the 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 shutter was very sluggish. It, you could watch it close. It was so slow. So I knew I had to clean it up. I didn't remember if I had done a Petri camera before or not. They're all, all of these old leaf shutter cameras are kind of the same. So the operation wasn't really much different than any other. Uh, I, I took out the lenses and I swamped it with, with uh, alcohol, my 99% isopropyl, and then blew it out and made it work that way. Everything else kind of happened unintentionally uh, along the way. Um, so that's all I wanted to share for this trip. So until next time.